Hello, my name's Shane, and these are my teammates, Jakan, Byron, Catherine, and Noor. We are the Rockwell Automation Scope Team. This year, we worked on leveraging emotional intelligence to improve human-robot collaboration in the factory of the future. We'd like to thank our Rockwell Automation liaison, Annie Balby, and our Olin faculty advisor, Alexandra Koso-Strong. Our sponsor, Rockwell Automation, specializes in developing and installing automation systems in current factories. In this project, we collaborated with Rockwell's Sensor and Safety Division in order to develop innovative ways for humans and robots to interact in the factory of the future. Let me introduce you to Harper the Human and Riley the Robot. Harper is dexterous and adaptive, while Riley is powerful and consistent. Both are needed in current factories, but due to safety constraints, Riley is enclosed in a cumbersome physical barrier, which decreases efficiency and increases space requirements in an already tightly packed factory. In the factory of the future, improvements in automated technologies will allow for full removal of physical barriers. This means that Harper and Riley are going to be working together in much closer proximity. While Riley will be completely safe to work with, this change will leave Harper feeling uncomfortable working next to such a powerful machine moving huge payloads. Harper also has a coworker, which they collaborate really well with. Harper and their coworker have a lot of trust on each other, and they will work great on teams. We wanted to see if we could improve the collaboration between Harper and Riley by learning from Harper's teamwork from their coworker. Various research shows that among all the top su successful teams, they have one thing in common, emotional intelligence. Even if individual team members may have very high technical skills, they will still underperform as a team compared to those who have much higher emotional intelligence. So emotional intelligence is the ability to identify and manage one's own emotions and also the emotions of the others. One day, Harper's coworker may seem a little bit sad, possibly due to something in life. Harper noticed this and offered to help by saying, hey, I hope everything is all right. If you need anything, I'm here for help. Harper displayed great emotional intelligence by first identifying their coworkers' emotions and then offered to help to manage them in a supportive way. This year, we developed Project Rally, which, is a, which comes in the form of a variable. If any of you are using a smartwatch or Fitbit right now, you are using a variable. Your Fitbit leverages accelerometer and heartbeat data to improve your personal health, while Project Rally leverages emotional intelligence to improve the collaboration between robots and operators. Rockwell was interested in the way that Olin students tackle problems and asked us to thoroughly document our methodologies. In our design process, shown here, we started with a broad problem statement. We then moved on to a cycle of research, analysis, and synthesis in order to generate graphical frameworks to help us organize our ideas. We then brainstormed using hundreds of post-it notes and we utilized prototyping insights to help us downselect to one final solution, Project Riley. Through our research, we found that emotional intelligence is built in teams that develop positive attitudes or behaviors that eventually become habit. These attitudes are called group norms. Here, we've listed a few key group norms, for example, emotional vocabulary, where individuals openly identify their own emotions in order to give context to their teammates. Throughout the year, we visited a number of manufacturing facilities for user research in order to see if these group norms that we found earlier could be applied to a factory of the future environment. One woman that we spoke to said that a machine she works with often gets jealous and breaks down as she spends too much time with other machines. Her experiences are just one example of how current factory operators are actually perceiving emotion in the robots that they're currently working with. This provides us evidence that the emotionally intelligent group norms that we found earlier can be applied to human-robot teams. Because we saw current factory operators perceiving emotion in the robots they're working with, 
we created a solution space as shown. Our solutions placed into this framework can both identify and manage perceived robot emotion or identify and manage human operator motion. So after generating many potential solutions, we then use different criteria and constraints to down-select. We conducted various user tests to reject deeper insights. For example, we simulated many manufacturing tasks by asking people to sort cars with mock robots, and even created prop, cardboard, and PVC to make more engaging manufacturing environments. After leveraging this user testing process, we then finalized to one idea, Project Rally. So back to our scenarios before, Hopper, the human, and Rally, the robot, will work together in much closer proximity in the factory of the future. Without Project Rally, Hopper may still feel uncomfortable working next to it because it's so large and big. However, with Project Rally, Hopper and the two will become emotionally intelligent things, increasing Hopper's trust that they will not be in danger during the workday and increasing team efficiency. Through our collaboration research, factory visit, and user test, we have managed to take the concept of emotional intelligence and apply it to human robot teams. We created a demonstrative prototype of Project Rally, which will improve trust and efficiency in future factory environments. This work gives Rockwell Automation a solid foundation that will turn human operators and robot workers into fully collaborative and emotionally intelligent teams in the factory of the future. Thank you.